Hi everyone, this is Nate with People Fit Health and Fitness, and this is Advanced Circuit Training. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. We're going to set up eight exercises, 40 seconds on each station, and we're going to do that three rounds. So let's start with the first one. Uh, we've done this before in the last few weeks. You're going to do two choices. We're going to do a jump tap squat, or you can just do squats. So here's the modified version of just doing some squats. If you want to do the jump tap, what you do is you start out wide. You tap in the middle, and then you come to a squat, okay? So it's nice and light with the leg. So I'll leave that up to you. We'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. You can either jump tap squats or squats. I'm going to watch off the back table up there. Five seconds. Good. Pause right there. Number two, we're going to do another standing exercise. Uh, one single dumbbell. Or whatever you got lying around for your weights. We're going to do our angled core extension. So you're going to hold on to the end. We're going to keep everything facing forward. And we're going to lift with straight arms off to a slight angle. We're going to keep the abs tight the whole time. So we're going to alternate angles. We're going to go left angle, right angle, okay? So we'll set it for 40 seconds. We'll go in three, two, one. Keep your core tight. Lift at an angle. Core tight. Lift to another angle. Go back and forth. Just make sure you're going to keep your abs nice and tight. Okay, you guys keep going. Ten seconds. Let's go one more in each direction. Good. Okay. Next up, we're going to come down to the ground. So if you want to make your way down to the ground. We're going to do a bridge chest press. So. We're going to line our back, bring your weights in with you. We're going to bridge up. That's going to be the start. From here, we're going to press up with the weights and go up and down with your weights, okay? We're going to tap them at the top. Elbows come down to the ground. Ground, ground, okay? So, we'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Bridge up. Weights can start straight in the air. Let your elbows down to the ground. We're going to press up and down. Nice and slow up and down with the weight. You want to full extend all the way up. You can do three more presses. Here's one. Two, last one, bring the weights into your body closely and then place them off to the side. Next up, abs, vertical crunch. So you can do this. I want you to try it with the legs up vertically. If you need to, you can leave them drop. What we're going to do is we're going to put the arms straight in the air, the legs straight in the air, and we're just going to reach up and down very slowly straight to the ceiling. Okay? Right up and down. If you need to, you can relax the leg. You can still do the same thing. Okay? We're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Legs up. Reach straight up. Try to keep your eyes straight on the ceiling above you. You're reaching up towards the ceiling, more so than towards your toes on this one. You want to go up and down nice and smooth. So 
Let's go three more. Here's one. Two. Three. Okay, take a pause. Keep your mind on your side. Let's go so the right leg is on top, so lie on your left side. We're going to do a hip circle. You can lie flat, or you can be up on an elbow if you want. We're going to lift that leg up, and we're going to start a circular pattern, okay? So right leg, here we go, lift up, start a circle, go ahead. Try to be as smooth as you can in your pattern. Three seconds, we're going to reverse direction. Okay, reverse the direction of that circle. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to come back to a stand. You're going to keep one dumbbell with you, or one of your weights. We're going to go right hand this round. We're going to do tricep kickback. Tricep kickback. You take the opposite foot of the back of the weight. So we're going to go right hand with the weight. Get the left foot up front. We're going to lean forward. Pull the elbow up. From here, you keep the elbow nice and still, and you're just going to extend back nice and slow. Okay? So, let's grab our weight. Take a forward lean. Three seconds, we'll get started, two, one, go ahead, pull the elbow up, extend straight back, nice and slow, you don't want to be swinging the weight, you want to do it very slowly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can pause with that one. Next up, we're going to do mountain climber. So you can have two choices. You can do it quick or you can do it slow. I'll show you the slow one first. You come down on the hands, you take each leg, and you pull the knee in towards your chest. If you want to go a little bit harder, a little faster, you create a rhythm to it. So you kind of run in your place. Okay? So we'll go down. Come on down to the ground. We'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. I'm going to do the modified version. If you want to go quicker, you can go quicker. Try to only use your core if you can. You need to take a break for a second. Take a break for a second. Jump back in when you're ready. We got 15 seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a pause. All right, let's come back to a stand. You're going to want both weights. We're going to do a balancing uh, uh, bicep curl. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one foot in front of the other just to create some balance. You don't have to get started yet, but I'll show you what we're doing. Hands are going to face away. So my hands are away from my body. And I'm just going to curl up and down nice and slow. Okay. So we're going to do half of one foot in front, half of the other foot in front. So grab your weight, start with either foot in front. Turn the hands away from you. Here we go. Keep the elbows locked into your side so they don't move. And we're just going to curl up and down. All right, be nice and smooth on the way up and down. You can always use your core, be a little assistance with your posture. Okay, put the other foot out in front. Here we go. Continue. Got three more. Three, two, one. Go 
Okay, you can take a break. Take a 30 second break. 45 second break. Grab a drink. All right, let's make our way back to the front. Run through that series again. So, number one, we start with the legs. You can do squats or jump tap squat. Quick reminder, jump tap squat, you start out, tap in, you go back to a squat, or you can just do a regular squat. All right, go three, two, one, go ahead. You can always hold a weight if you want to. Don't hold the weight if you're doing the jump squat, but if you're doing a regular squat, you can hold the weight. I'm going to hold off on this one for now. I want you guys to keep going, though. You have 15 seconds to go. If you're doing the jump squats, make sure you're keeping your impact low as you get tired. It's going to be soft on the feet. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, all right, take a break for a second, grab the breath. Take one dumbbell or whatever you're gonna use for your weight. This is our angled core extension. So we do straight arms, we take a nice base with our feet. This is where we're gonna tighten our core, lift to an angle, lift to another angle, okay? So we're going three, two, one, here we go. Go a little bit quicker. Round two. Keep your core tight. We want to make sure we're using the abs to keep our posture up tall. The weight is going to want to pull you forward. We want to use the abs to keep us up tall. Three to go. Two more. Last one. Okay. All right. We can start making our way down to the ground. Bring your weights nearby. We're going to do a great chest press. Quick demonstration again. Bridge chest press. You bridge up. Put the weights up. We're going to go up and down with the weight. Okay, so lie on your back. Let's bridge up. Bridge the hips to the ceiling. Weights can start straight in the air. And here we go. Up and down with the weight. Keep the hips up. Good, I want you guys to keep going. I'm going to stop on this one. Don't follow me. Try to keep your hips elevated the whole time. You can do two more. Two more presses. Good, when you've done your two, take a second, you can lose the weight, but it's off to the side. Next up, we have our vertical crunch. So, vertical crunch is with the legs elevated, arms straight up in the air, reaching to the ceiling. You can drop the legs if you need to. All right, we're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, legs up, reaching straight up. Try and keep your focus on the ceiling above you.
We got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax. You might as well align your right side while you're resting. So your left leg is on top. This is going to be our side hip circle. So you're going to lie in your side, you can lie in your elbow, or you can lie flat. Take that top leg, you can do it with me. Take the top leg, lift it up, and start a circle. Here we go. Reverse direction. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Turn the leg down. We can come back to a stand. Back to tricep kickback. We're going to do the left arm this round. So you're going to want the weight in your left arm. You want your right leg out in front. You can always brace yourself on your leg or anything that's around you, a couch, a table, anything like that. I'm going to use my leg. All right, so take a good forward lean. Flat back. Pull the elbow up. Here we go. Extend back. You want the elbow to stay as stationary as possible. Here we go. We're up. Go ahead if you didn't start yet. Good. You guys keep going. You can do three more from three more repetitions. Good. When you've done those, you can take a second, lose the weight. We have our mountain climbers are next. So, modified version I'll show you. Slowly, quick version, you create a rhythm to it. Okay, so come on down, come on your hands. Prop yourself up. In three, two, one, go ahead, do whichever one you feel comfortable with. If you do the quick one, do the quick one. Already past halfway, try to keep your rhythm up if you can. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, come down easy on the knees. Come back to a stand. We got one more to go, then we'll take another break. All right, we're gonna grab both weights. This is gonna be our bouncing bicep curl. All right, so we face the hands away. We're going to put one foot out in front of the other. It doesn't matter which one. We'll go three, two, one. Here we go. Hands face the legs, curl up and down. Okay, change your feet. Here we go, same deal. Three to go. Last one. Good, all right, there's two rounds. Grab a drink.
I will come back in about 10 seconds. All right, let's go round three. A little bit quicker, right? We've done two already, so let's go a little faster. First up, we have jump tap squats or squats with a weight or squats with no weight. That squats would just be a modified version of the jump tap squat. So if you do the jump tap, go ahead and do it. If you're doing the jump tap, you start wide, tap in the middle, and do a squat. Here we go. Two, one, go ahead. Start your red. I'm just going to do the squats. If you want to do the jump tap, please go ahead. Challenge yourself a little bit. Ten seconds, keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, pause. We're going to want one weight. This is our angle of core extension. So, this is with straight arms, one single weight. Give yourself a good base with your feet. We'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. Off to an angle. Keep your abs tight. Slowly to the other angle. Keep your abs tight. Abs tight, slow pace, straight arms. Go one more each direction. Here's one. Two. Okay, you can uh, bring your other weight with you and come on down to the ground. It's going to be our bridge chest press. So, bridge up, press up in the air. Okay, so we'll go in five, four, three, two, one, bridge up. Weight come down slowly, press all the way up. You can tap the weights together at the top. Go ahead if you haven't started. Five left, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring the weights in your body, place them off to the side. We're going to stay on the ground, we're going to stay on our back, we have our vertical crunch. Vertical crunch is where legs go up, arms go up, and then we reach up, okay? I'll give you five seconds to get set up. You can always bend the leg also. You're still reaching straight up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Reaching up. Try to keep your eyes on the ceiling. You're not, you're not crunching forward towards your legs necessarily. I want you to go up if you can. Five, four, three, two, one, good. All right, next up, we have our side hip circles. We're going to do each leg at a time, so it doesn't matter which one you want to start with. You're going to lie on your side. Take the top leg, lift it up. Start a circle. Here we go. Three, two, one, bring
bring that leg down, roll to the other side. Three, two, one, other leg. Here we go. You try to keep your hip up as much as you can. Try to keep the leg elevated. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the leg down. All right, come back to a stand. Take one weight with you. This is our kickback. We're going to do each, each arm. So it doesn't matter which arm you want to start with. Just take the weight in an arm. Get the opposite foot out in front. We'll go in three, two, one. Nice flat back. Here we go. Elbow up. Extend back. Go ahead. Less the elbow moves, the better. Do one more. Then you're going to stand up, change hands, change your feet. Pull the elbow up and extend back again. Here we go, other arm. You do two more of them. Okay, you can lose the weight. All right, we got two more to go. No weight to need for this one. We're going to get to our mountain climbers. So, mountain climbers. There's a lot of form in this one, so I'll make sure you're real quick again, just so you're safe. Out of the hands, you can go back and forth, or you can go quickly, okay? So, come on down to the hands. We're going five, four, Three, two, one, go ahead. Already passed halfway. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down easy on your knees. Come back to a stand for our last one. You're going to walk both weights. Okay, so we're going to do a balancing bicep curl. So put one foot out in front of the other. You're going to turn the hands away. And start your curls with me. Here we go. Okay, change feet. Same deal, here we go. Last one. Good, all right. You can lose the weights. You guys are all done. Good class. Thanks for coming.